everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Please Planet Coaster. Um, we just built the Bone Rattler on the last episode. And people are loving it so far. That'll change when the queue starts to fill up, but in order for the queue to fill up, I think we need more people at the park in general. So, um, I think we're we're about to make like a quantum leap for our, uh, our park. What we need to do is, as I say all the time, trim the fat, non-profitable, uh, Rides even I've been culling non-profitable shops, but non-profitable rides should probably be uh, be roasted and We may want to uh, I Don't know abandon this section of the park that has no people in it like this is where you go When you just got nothing else to do like you're like I just want to get away from the crowds for a while I don't really like this section of the park, but I'll go there like ain't nobody using their priority pass here I'll tell you that much all people do when they get off of this ride, you know, is throw up everywhere and then... Oh, Street Fox Coffee 8 has quit. Alright, this place, honestly, you gotta go. Because obviously you're not making money. If, uh, if you're quitting. And let's go look at, uh, other facilities and see how they're doing. We'll go down to speed 1 for now, just to help the frame rate. Only 5% on Happy, that's awesome. Um, let's go to Attractions and Shops. Fruit of the Flume lost money last month? Excuse me? Because the queue is full? What the? What the? It's just backed up. Not, nothing's going, man. Okay. What about now? I don't understand. It, was it like someone was doing maintenance on it or something? Okay, it's, it's being refurbished. We've literally just cost ourselves like thousands of dollars getting this thing to go. Um, once it's refurbished, you know, a mechanic is going to be called. People will start being able to go on this ride again. I don't know, maybe it got stuck or something. That would explain why so many people were complaining about the queue being full. And also, I guess, would explain why it made no money. Um, and now, hopefully, these people will all bounce, go to the food court, you know, get on the Bone Rattler, and realize the Bone Rattler's fantastic value. Like, that was like a thousand people just standing in line, not doing anything, just siphoning value out of our park. Okay, it is refurbished. Now it should be running. Maybe we should have less cars? I don't know, but that's gonna make it, uh... That's gonna make it take so long in order to actually work. How do you throw up when you get off of the log flume? I've gotta know. I guess people have been standing there for like possibly 100 years. I wonder how long people have been talking to me about, about that issue. But either way, this section of the park is now bumping, as you can see. Although we have lost, you know, thousands of dollars this month. Um, the lineup to get into the toilets here is ridiculous. How are you doing? Let's go through them. Gulpy slush. Lost five bucks. It'll start making money. Cosmic Cow Milkshakes. Lost 300 bucks, it's gonna start making money. Mexilente 3, lost 400 bucks, but now it's super busy. It's gonna start making money. Tiki Cheeky, Tiki Cheeky. Lost 372 bucks, but I have faith that that's gonna start making bank again. All right, the queue for the flume has picked up again. Apparently, like, I didn't realize, but the flume is quite nauseating, so as much as it's gonna, like, hamper progress on this thoroughfare, we're gonna throw down some benches, just so like, you know, if you, like, urgently have to vomit, you can go take a seat. People should get over it pretty quick, I think. Uh, and we're making money again, and I, what I want to do, I will not be happy until I see a lineup for the Bone Rattler. That's the thing, you know, the Bone Rattler, it can accommodate like 60 people per ride, which I'll admit is a lot. But I want to see a lineup for it before I get too happy about it. What do you mean, minus 69 rating? Honestly, that's offensive. Because, uh, our park was doing so well. Yeah, get on the- get on the flume! Open the gates for- there we go. That was the problem. Nobody was getting on the dang gates last time and the queue was full. Alright, we're making money. I think we could honestly afford more marketing to get more people into the park. Do I want to spend five grand on this marketing? Maybe not, but... A lot of our lines are like half full. So I sort of feel like we might want to market to all ages because the Bone Rattler is all ages. I don't remember if J Smith OTI's commute is, but look at that line, dude. 
Why do people love J Smith OTI's commute so much? It's not very good. I say that as the as the person who built it. Like if I look at rides, um, okay, Fruit of the Flume is making mad money now. Maybe that's our best uh, ride. The Lunch Loser's doing well. The Bone Rattler only made 540 bucks last month, but that's just, like, I mean, let's be real. That's because, um, oh my god, multiple rides. Lara Croft's Hang Glider. It's always the Skrillex experience, man. Like, everything in this park breaks down, sucks our mechanics time up, and then, uh, oh my god, what, Madrina's Wild Ride broke down too? It's never the, or I shouldn't say it's never the coasters, but it's so rarely the coasters. So I'm going to put out a, a TV ad here, even though it's expensive. Um, we're going to get rid of the newspaper. Uh, let's get rid of the poster campaign. Dang teens leaving their trash everywhere. And then we're going to, on a um, family hour, we're going to make a five grand advertisement. I fully expect this to pretty much consume all of our profits the first month we run it. Uh, but hopefully after that, I really want to see us get to 4,000 visitors. If we can get to four grand, I'll be happy there. And then hopefully our lines will fill up a little bit. We'll be making more money. Etc. Etc. People are loving the park, though. Look at park happiness. It's at an all-time high. Allow me to take off my jacket. It's actually getting real warm in here. It's just a hoodie, but people call it a jacket, so I'm going to call it a jacket. Now we got to think about this element of the park. MC Hammer's Jinko Jeans. You know, all these thrill rides. Challenge complete, excuse me? Chief a park rating of 2,400. Lucky me. Build a coaster that reaches 80 miles an hour. Is such a thing even possible? Um, I think we need a coaster over in this section of the park. Because right now, nobody likes this section of the park. You know, we've we've kind of revitalized this aspect a little bit with, uh, oh no, with the Bone Rattler. At least I hope we have. It lost 300 bucks last month, though, so maybe we have it, actually. I really thought the combination of the food court and a roller coaster that people actually enjoy uh, would be enough. And people are happy with the roller coaster. They just, they're not finding themselves in this section of the park very often. So, hmm. Again, that, that classic problem, right? Chicken or the egg. Do we need more people? Or do we need more attractions over there? I don't know. But we are up to 3,600 people. And anecdotally, you know, some of these queues, like Spaghetti Island, seems like it's in a better position now. Um, let's look at our blueprints. I don't think there's anything new here, but... I don't know, man. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I'm looking at some of these coasters here. Rob's Wussy Baby Coaster has good stats. Green Excitement and Fear uh, and Yellow Nausea. Dude, is this not... Let, let me compare this to Grundle. It's not exactly the same. And in fact, he was nice enough to put some own elements in there. Like, he's he's got some trees. But it's, it's very similar to another coaster we already got here. I will be honest with you, though. It looks like this coaster takes about 14 milliseconds to ride. Um, so I'm kind of tempted to throw it down. Because I think that it could be a money maker. So you know what? Congrats, Rob. Is this, is this actually the border? No, the border is way out here. So we just got to terraform a little bit in order to make some more space. To be honest with you, we probably don't need to terraform. But we're going to do so anyway. So... Just flatten this to the foundation and that's not it doesn't really seem like it's flattening it to the foundation. Flatten the surface. Why is it raising the ground? Yeah, you should be getting oh my god, what have I done? Flatten the surface. Why is it raising it? When I say flatten the surface, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's like raising part... What What have I done? I created a disc. No, don't... Don't fly into the foundation. There we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. Fill in the ground. I don't know what I did wrong there that, that led to this awful, like, miasma here. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not averse to spending five grand to create a new section of, of theme park for ourselves. So just be careful about it. Plus, now we got a sweet-ass, like, monolithic, you know, mountain section over here. Dope. Okay, so that should be enough space for Rob's baby coaster. And we're not making money right now. We're not making much. But keep in mind, the whole reason we did this was to add, um... Yeah, 
Dude, the vomit there is re fucking grossulous. That's disgusting. Um, we're gonna throw down Rob's Wussy Coaster because you know I want this to be a zoo where all of our friends' coasters can can live. And if this is a uh, if this is a zoo, Rob can be an exhibit here. I actually kind of hate this. I just want to rotate it. Oh god, what have I done? No, ro rotate the whole thing, please. Not just the track, I want the... Uh, oh my lord. You know what? Dude, we spent like two grand on... The and it left the other elements! Hold up, hold up. This is, this is me being an idiot. Rob has nothing to do with this. Absolutely my own fault, 100%. But... I, money is no object, effectively, at this point in our lives. Like... I don't know why you have to escape out of the multi-selection tool, but... Um... This is me being a dummy, basically. Try not to select the coaster and delete it uh, mid... You, you just can't get rid of this, huh? Those just won't go? It's the trees? The trees won't go? Excuse me? Like, some of these trees, they're like, we've oh, someone's chained to them, dude. They've been here for a hundred years, they won't go. All right, but if you delete them all individually, there they go. All right, so that was that was my mistake. That was my mistake. My blueprints. We'll see baby coaster. I just want... This was all just to get the station facing a different direction, which is probably, like, overkill. But, you know, I know what I like. So we'll put it like that instead. We made 600 bucks, lost some park rating points. What is this, amateur hour? Put two people on the coaster at once? You can only put the exit in one location? Robert, Robert, Robert. I have to know. Why are you the way you choose to be? The station is so freaking tall, man. Alright, there you go. So, they, like, I don't really want the queue to be very long. Because it is a wussy baby coaster. I'm going to make it long enough that you can actually skip some of it with the priority queue. And then, you know, the general idea here is that the exit um, will just meet up with the queue at some later moment, like around here. And then we're going to take it back to the, uh, the actual theme park. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Now this, unlike um, the Big Dipper, no offense meant, Luke, this probably isn't going to financially destroy my park. This is not called Dragon, this is Rob's Redemption. I know there's no exclamation point in that, sometimes the game doesn't like quote-unquote special characters. Um, obviously we need to up the scenery on this ride to give it a fair shake. But, throw like garbage. Garbage, garbage, garbage. And I'm I'm amazed we're spending like six grand a month on uh, on marketing, and yet we're still managing to keep our park. I mean, we're we're losing less right now, less than a thousand per month with construction. So I think that counts construction at least. So I'm not feeling too bad about things. Rob's coaster did not have a bad nausea rating, but still wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to do that. And then. Before we open up Rob's Redemption, obviously, again, the queue needs to get better, but first things first, I do want to sell priority passes if possible. So we're going to go uh, enable priority pass, place entrance. If nothing else, I've at least gotten better at placing priority pass entrances and exits. Now, you're not skipping a whole lot in this one, admittedly, but... It's still, you know, a priority pass is ten fucking dollars. If you can't nut up and pay $10 to save yourself two hours in the park, your park economics are all off, dude. They're they're wrong. Um, okay, Q scenery rating is horrible. We're going to go scenery, blueprint, and we're looking for sweet-ass dragon scenes because this theme park is called, the, or this, this ride is based on the dragon. So, there you go. You do get hit with his tail when you walk through the exit if you're not careful. Rob's Redemption, 42%. That's okay. Um, throw a little by the order of the queen in there. People seem to go ape shit over this. 75%. I'll throw another large overgrown spooky tree out here. You, 
can handle Rob's strongest rides, Traveler. 88%. That's the ticket. We're going to test it. We're going to ride it. Don't let me down here, Robert. I mean, it is a wussy baby ride. I'm not relying on this ride to really, uh, you know, rattle your bones. If you want to get your bones rattled, you go over there to the other side of the park. You ride on the bone rattler. I gotta admit, I like I like the custom staging elements he's built here. I have, like, no desire to do those myself. So for somebody else to build a coaster and then add, like, some scenery into it, that's awesome. There you go. Nice. Please leave your hands and head inside of the ride at all times or they'll be chopped off. Dude, I gotta be honest, Rob. That's a, that's a pretty dope coaster. If we're making a coaster for little babies, that coaster is actually pretty sweet. Six dollars seems perfect to me. It's open for business. Let's see how people feel about this when they come over to this section. First off, uh, Chief Janitor's got to clean up all the vomit. But, you know, there's, there's some family-friendly rides in this section of the park. I'm hopeful that Rob's uh, wussy baby coaster, a.k.a. Rob's Redemption, can, uh, can drive some demand. The problem is there's, like, very few people in this section of the park to begin with. And then we got to convince them to, you know, come all the way over here. But our new path... That runs, like, from here over this way. You know, it's it's getting some traffic. I'm hopeful. Right now, this is, like, the best-kept secret of the park. Ooh, look, people are going on it. I want to go on Rob's Redemption. Dude, Rob's Redemption. Have you not only redeemed yourself, but perhaps redeemed this entire side of the park simultaneously? Perhaps. Perhaps, Rob. Perhaps. Challenge available. Achieve a scenery rating of 160. We're at 133. I think we can get there. Um, I do want to do what I always do. Wait, no, no, no. Just close this. Um, and that is... Let's go look at our staff. Park happiness is really ha really high. I'm very happy about that. The lunch loser people are still in love with it. We're going to look at our staff. Um, we have an entertainer. He's mostly love and life. Let's, uh, let's make him even happier by training him a little bit. And then janitors. Everybody's stoked. But they're not quite at the highest levels you could be at yet. So... Get you up there. Um, vendors? You're not very happy. You know what? Get trained, son. Get trained. Maybe we want to have, like, all of our vendors get trained? Let me know in the comments if you think... Or let, let me know on Twitter if you think that's a good idea to have all of your vendors be trained. Because I think it's conceivable that um, that might start to get a little expensive, but... Suppose it's it's plausible that maybe you know you got a nice vendor. Maybe they sell better if you uh, if you take them to the level. So everybody's gonna be at 350, and we're just gonna um, we're gonna train them as necessary. How's the lineup for Rob's Redemption going? I mean, we have people on the ride right now, I think, or not. You know, that's fine too. It's not like it costs me like thousands of dollars a month to run these fucking roller coasters. I want to go on Rob's Redemption. Well, step right up, buddy. No priority pass required. Speaking of which, how are our priority passes doing right now? It's the first thing you see when you enter the park. 430 bucks a month. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The lunch loser. $4,000 per month. That's ridiculous. The bone rattler. 400 bucks a month. We need more people in this section of the park. That's just its the reality of the situation right now. Oh, solar flare has been fixed. Um, not that that matters. Any, like what The lunch loser makes like as much as every other roller coaster in our park put together. Um, I don't know. We're getting like 20 people riding, uh, riding the bone rattler on the regular. That seems fair to me. As long as, like, it's enough people to keep this food court in business, I'm pretty happy. But we are actually... I mean, we're losing money. Considering we're spending 6000 on marketing, losing 2000 a month is not the worst thing in the world. But we don't really want to be losing $2,000 a month because we're marketing. You know, we want to be making money because we're marketing. Otherwise, we're spending on every customer that enters the park, which is a bad idea. Um... Yeah, so we lost two grand this month. We can't really afford to have a month like that again. If the lunch loser goes down, we're going to be in a very difficult situation. So you... Dude, you're going to throw up... Oh my god, the lunch loser broke down. You're going to throw up 
when you get off of Lara Croft's hang glider, that's actually just an embarrassment to all people involved here. If we can survive the lunch loser being down, I'm okay with that. But for right now, dude, like, we're just rolling like two people on this little baby ride over and over. Oh my god, she's remarkably stoked to get on Rob's wild ride. We're gonna reach a difficult decision. It's a decision that I've put off here for a long time, but it basically boils down to like, what do we do if nobody ever enters this section of the park? Because if nobody goes here, we're wasting money. We're not wasting money on all of these rides, but like, we're not making much on any of them. Like, Lara Croft's Hang Glider makes 100 bucks. Skrillex Experience made 20 bucks. Solar Flare made 100 bucks. Raise the Sun made $90. Rob's ride over here is losing us a bunch of money, but it's not his fault. It's because nobody's coming over here. Standard Restroom Block obviously is losing us money. First Aid is obviously losing us money. But we need to, like, design the flow of humans in our park to a situation where, like, people spend more time in that section. Because right now, they're all being funneled this way. And I don't know why. Is it really just because the log flume is that popular? That people, like, refuse to go anywhere else? Like, all they care about is this freaking log flume? Chopper's Creek? Fruit of the flume? We got a fairly consistent supply of people getting on, uh... Getting on the Bone Rattler. Maybe it just takes some time. Because, like, that did lose us money in the first month. But now it seems like it's doing a little bit better. It's still not quite getting a lineup. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Because remember that the lineup... Um, or remember that, uh... This holds 60 people per ride. So... The fact that there's no lineup is not necessarily indicative of it being less efficient. We can make it only go when there's a... When there's a full load, but that doesn't seem like the right call. I want to go on Rob's Redemption. I mean, we could make it cheaper to maybe get more people over here, but... Historically, that has not worked out really well for me, I think. Uh, maybe... Here's another thing I'm going to think right now. Maybe this element of the park, like this section of the park, is just hideous. So what if we throw down, like, some cool scenery elements over here? What if we throw down, like, a, the King's Loot Tent? Right there. Just to make this part of the park a little bit more enticing. And if we spend money on it, you know, it's the same thing you do in City Skylines. You wait, you know, 30 minutes and then you'll get over it. You know, you go to a theme park, they don't just have scenery in the queues, right? They've got scenery, like, everywhere. So maybe it's because... This part of the park just doesn't have any theming aspects going on, like, at all. So we can, like, you know, add in some sweet-ass fountains and stuff like that to try to bring more people in here. You know, some market stalls, if you will. This isn't even to bring our Q rating up. This is just to, like, first off, we'll probably complete a challenge by building more scenery over here. We're making money this month. I don't know why, but... I'm assuming it's not directly tied to the amount of scenery that I'm popping down, but maybe indirectly. Um, park scenery rating 138. I'm not really doing this just to crank that up, but... You know, it, it doesn't hurt necessarily. Throw some more elements in here so that... Uh, game runs at half of a frame per second. It's not really costing us much. Maybe it's just the, like, the, um, the type of rides being broken are lower now. Or are different now. A watery grave. You know, what? what's the pirate aspect of our park? I suppose that's... I don't really want to drive demand in that section of the park. That section of the park's doing fine. If we're going to drive demand anywhere, we want to, like, drive it over here. So, once you get off the log flume... There you go. Hopefully that raises uh, track scenery a little bit on the lunch loser as well. Oh, my God. I get it. You know, it's cool. Everything in the game is made up of... There's so much trash. Everything in the game is made up of uh, other elements, but sometimes you're like, I just want to move this whole freaking thing. You can put it like dead center. Um, still hideous. We got this one thing over here, but... Well, obviously, we either need more janitors, more trash cans, or both. We're starting to 
lose money here. We could, I, I, the problem is I don't want to bail the same way I bailed last time and just be like, okay, let's stop our marketing efforts. Because we did add 500 people into the park. The problem is we're, we're just losing money still. So, I mean, the average park, the average spend to get a person into the park is obviously uh, not good right now. We're spending more to get someone into the park than, we, than we're getting from them being here. Wow, this is actually disgusting. Well, okay, let's let's take care of that. So go speed one, get all these elements off the screen, uh, and we'll go to park management again. We'll go staff. How's our staff doing? Mechanics are stoked. Uh, I can't really afford to train you right now, honestly. I, I'm gonna train a janitor, this guy right here, even though it's a little expensive given where we're at. Uh, we're gonna raise his salary to 225 bucks a month, and then we're gonna make a new work roster, and this is gonna be called like Garbage Alley. Um, so let's just get that off the screen temporarily temporarily. So that was near um, Fruit of the flume over here like right Here is garbage alley. I have no idea why The trash is so ridiculous. In fact, we probably need more bins Like you people are actually savages just hold there's so many trash cans in the park You can't hold on to your garbage for two seconds I'm actually offended, but, um, okay, park management, people are probably like, there's a lot of trash everywhere, this litter is disgusting, no kidding, uh, yeah, and happiness is dropping as a result, so we're gonna go, staff, work rosters, create new roster, and, um, let's select multiple elements here, so we want, like, definitely that, that, um, you can click on the bathroom. Oh, we don't need to. One coaster, six buildings. Maybe this one as well. And, and probably this one. Yeah, okay. And we're just going to call this Trash Mountain. Save work roster. And we're going to put like our second best staff member on Trash Mountain. So, Cole Boland. He's been here forever. Congrats. You're on uh, Trash Mountain. Where do I assign you to that? Trash Mountain. And you're gonna do everything at Trash Mountain? Like, you're not just gonna... Just gonna handle the trash, but... That is part of it. Dude, this is ridiculous. This double Q for the Roctopus and J. Smith OTI's fucking commute. Who would have thought that it would be the... The most exciting aspect, uh, aspect of the park? I am excited, you know, people like queuing on Mountain Tomo. Uh, we could probably raise prices again. What do we got? A fourteen dollars. It's a fifteen dollar ride. Like, it's it's not gonna make much of a difference, but I I do want to be consistent with my prices across the board. You know, send the message. This is a premium ride. Similarly, the lunch loser people love. I'm not gonna change the price for that, but we'll just leave it where it stands. Uh, honestly, I think I have to bail myself out here and be like, we're not doing our. Uh, we're not doing our marketing campaign any longer because it's costing us too much money. So we'll uh, we'll see how the the world functions after that's changed now. And if we start just making money ridiculously, then I know that our park is still not optimized that efficiently in order to handle that. And we'll probably lose uh, park attendees as well as a result. But that's the that's the ticket, man. There's a lot of litter in the park. Yeah, I've noticed that. I've noticed that as well. Now this bother- oh, that's a bird. That does not bother me. I love nature. I respect nature. You won't find anybody who respects nature more than me. I really don't want to have the Skrillex experience, uh, be going through maintenance all the time. My reasoning is that it's gonna cost us money indirectly by forcing us to have, uh, Mechanics look at it all the time. I don't want mechanics to look at it all the time. I just don't care You know it, it makes us no money it exists solely to exist Now just thinking like What if we build a path out here? This is maybe where I'm gonna take things on the next episode We don't have enough money to build another coaster right now But if we're not gonna be spending five grand a month on Reese on uh, main uh, marketing Sorry, we should probably spend uh, some money on research Knock out some more of these research projects, and then... 
An alternative launch. Interesting. We'll throw down like those two right there. We can put in new rides, uh, of which there might... There's some track rides for sure that I haven't built yet. Um, and the sundial I have. Have I built all of these? Yes, yes. I don't think I've built hyperspin. But... And I don't think I've built insanity either. I'm not that into them though. But we can start... We can build like a, a small little park in the middle of J. Smith OTI's commute. And it might take advantage of the fact that there's so much traffic here and maybe bleed a little bit of that traffic off, but maybe it's not the best idea. Maybe it's better to just put more rides like over here and maybe drive demand this way. But on the other hand, that doesn't make sense to me either. We need to hire more janitors, dude. I'm just going to hire two janitors right now and put them down because this is getting ridiculous. Um, but, I yeah, I mean, I guess I'm looking for... Uh, I'm looking for uh, advice to get more people into different sections of the park. So leave those comments if you have uh, expertise there. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. New episodes come out every single day at 2 p.m. PST. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future, and I'll see you next time.